Hey everyone, it's Devin. Um, a few people have asked about my process for taking pictures, so I thought I'd share here. So I think the biggest thing you've got to do is you have to get that shine before you even start taking the pictures. To get that shine, I encapsulate in clear, and then I've got to use my stiff brush to get all of the extra clear off. That's how you're gonna get that crystal clear, no dull spots, um, and no cloudiness. So you can see here, I really go at it for a while, try to get all of it, and then I activate. So I put my activator on all of my nails, pretty much I'm sure what you all are already doing. And then once I activate, I just buff, 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 buff. I love those little pink um, buffers, and um, I go at it, get them nice. I try to get until it's all dull. Um, and then anything with glitters, I try to get really nice and straight. And then I use the alcohol to get all of that off. It's nice and straight, no um, dust. And then I activate a second time. I didn't used to do this, but I swear this is the trick that I was missing. So I activate that second time. And then I let it dry for a little bit, not really long. Um, just about the amount of time it takes to put it on. And then I use alcohol. I wipe off any excess that hasn't kind of like soaked in. Um, I try to get kind of like a bead of my top coat on the tip and then I go down one, two, three on each nail, down the middle and then on each side. Sorry, you can't see it great here. Um, maybe this will get better if I keep doing it, who knows. And then I go back a second time before it's even fully hardened and kind of a lot more carefully make sure I've gotten all of the areas and you can see it's a high shine already. And then I go in for the picture. So I wear press-ons, so I put lotion on both my hands um, before I even have the press-ons on. And then behind the scenes, I use some alcohol to make sure all that kind of oil is off of my nails before I put the little glue tabs is what I primarily use. And you can see I've got a couple different cuticle oils that I like. I love the pens, love the droppers also. I use those more in the morning. Um, things like that right before pictures because I don't want too much. I don't want to look like I'm an oil slick. I like the pens. I feel like it gives me just the right amount. Um, I go all around my cuticles just like normal and I'm not sure about all of you but the pads under my fingernails, I always feel like they're super dry. Maybe it's from the acetone from um, cleaning those nail stamping plates but I always try to hit those areas too because I hate when you've got the perfect picture and then it's like I'm sure no one else would notice. But I feel like I can see every little bit of dry skin. Um, so I go in with those cuticle pens. And just as we're waiting for me to get those cuticles, I just really want you all to know that we do not care if you have what you think are perfect nail fees. We just want to see your nails. I love, love, love seeing them. I've never seen a picture of someone's nails and thought, oh my gosh, they should not have posted those. So please, 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 you think they're perfect or not, keep posting them. And then I grab out my ring light. Now don't feel like you need to get some giant ring light. I have this from pandemic year of teaching. I also used to teach children in China. They were in China. I was here in the States. I used to teach them English online. So I have it from other things, but it works out great. I put my hands right under it. You can see my phone is just right above it, like almost in the hole. I use different sleeves. The black one was definitely a pair of my toddler's leggings forgot my rings, had to put them on. And this is what you see in the camera. So you can see like I'm moving my hand all around trying to get it just right. Um, I take like a hundred. So that perfect one that you might, perfect. <laughs> that one you might see online is definitely not the only one that I've taken. Um, it takes a little bit. And I kind of try to get my fingers to look sort of natural. I don't personally use a prop usually. I think my hands are a little small. So I think props make them look even smaller. Um, but I love when you all do, so I don't know, I think it's just on me. I like to tap my thumb just right next to my pointer finger. You can see here, here's all the pictures that I just took, and usually I take even more than this. Um, I choose the one that I like, and then um, I go to my edit function on mine. And the first thing that I do is crop. I crop it down straight to a square because I'm always always going to put these into Instagram. So it likes it that best. Try to cut out anything else that's in the background. Sometimes I'll leave my candles. Um, sometimes not. Here it doesn't really fit in. So I'm going to kind of crop it out. Move it just a little bit. 
I like to also um, turn them so that my hands are up. I don't know. I saw someone else doing this on Instagram. I really like the way that it looks. Maybe it's just me. For some reason, it looks like more profesh to me. I don't know. And then once I've got that, I like to go to my address. I don't change anything about the coloring. I just like this vignette setting. And I like to like it makes the corners a little bit darker. You do you. I think it looks great. And then there you go. Um, then I take it to an editing app that I use to put in my little name. And that's pretty much it. I get it, you know, kind of in the center, put it on one of the nails. Um, this particular app is called um, Fonto, Fonto, Ooh. Fonto, P-H-O-N-T-O. -O. It's a little P with a little pencil. It's a red circle on Android. Works pretty well. Um, free, super low frills. Just puts your name in. That way I suppose maybe no one can steal your pictures. I don't know. I don't think people are trying to steal my pictures, but... So I hope that this um, was maybe helpful to you. I don't know that it's information that, you know, it's just what works for me. I'd love to know your tips and tricks. Um, I'd love to see what you all are doing. Like I said, I learned most of these things watching other people's videos. Um, I'm not an expert at all in the nail fee game. But please keep posting your pictures. I love seeing them. I love seeing all the different ways that you all are using these beautiful colors. I always get so inspired. My whole like save drive on my phone is just all of y'all's pictures and thinking, oh, this is what I should do next time. And then here's the finished look. Thanks for joining me today. Bye, y'all.